It's been one year since Michigan State University first started selling alcohol at Spartan football games. Now the university is in year two and already making some changes. News 10's Deanna Giles has the story. MSU started selling alcohol at Spartan Stadium for the first time on September 16th last year. Now they're taking the lessons learned during year one and making adjustments for year two. I think everything went about as smoothly as it possibly could have gone in its first year of operation. You know, we definitely saw that in the beginning the lines were very long and we needed some process improvements. Kat Cooper works with Student Life and Engagement for Michigan State University. She says selling alcoholic beverages on campus was an adjustment, but prepared them for a new year. We did adjust the offerings by uh, making sure we were sh only serving our most popular beverages, and then we made some adjustments to the selection of beverages. When we talk about responsible use, it is balancing access to the product, uh, marketing of the product, development of the product. Spencer Nevins says this opportunity isn't meant to encourage overconsumption, but provide a new experience. Ryan Klopsick with Westside Beer Distributing is one of several companies supplying alcoholic beverages. He says it was a learning experience for everyone. You know, our employees, uh, many of whom are graduates or fans of Michigan State University, a great sense of pride um, and really reinforces our commitment to our retail customers. We started at Spartan Stadium with football, I believe at the third game of the season last year. And then we were able to move on to uh, hockey and men and women's basketball in short order. This year, we are also adding volleyball. In East Lansing, Deanna Giles, News 10. And Kat Cooper, who you just heard from, says hockey sold the most alcoholic beverages. The revenue made from alcoholic sales are split three ways between student life and engagement, athletics, and student health and well-being.